Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and I am so happy that you're following along on this series. I am thoroughly enjoying it and uh, we are closing in on sort of the first big milestone at which point we transition from being a starter base into what we will absolutely make into a mega base. So that is going to be super exciting. What we need to do is what I need to what I want to show you today is a long it's surprisingly long chain of things that we need to make in uh, in succession in order to get to the goal of launching the first rockets as part of our Dyson Sphere. And uh, that's that's going to be a bit of a challenge. So I have to do some things before getting started on this episode. And for example, this is our Dyson Sphere. Uh, no, this is our quantum chips. And I just added one more. This is one quantum chip. So it's one, two, three quantum chips per minute. Not a lot, but it's uh, it's just accruing. And that gives us a good, of, a good little uh, storage. I also have here deuterium. I've uh, added a second build of this. This is the one we have built before. And then I just copied it that below. So nothing new and exciting in terms of designs, but just uh, more of the same so that we can today focus on building new stuff and designing some new cool things. Let me explain what we're going to do. And while I explain it, you can just sit back, relax. But before you sit back, just hit that the like button if you if you so please, because it helps me a lot with the with the discovery here on YouTube. That is the way it works. So thank you for liking and also commenting if there's something you want to add or qu uh, ask about. Uh, I should also mention all blueprints will be on my website. I know it's a bit of a mess and I have intentions of cleaning it up, but let's see about those intentions and how they materialize. Now, let's talk a bit about the progress because what I need to do in order to get, well, first start with the research. I think we have a few things we can just research with the greens uh, because I just let it run. So there might be a few things we can research like this one and that one as well. We can get some of these as well. Nothing super exciting, but it's mainly over here by the technologies that we're needing to get the mission complete. In order to do mission complete, we need the antimatter, the one, the last icon. In order to get the antimatter, we need to get the direct inversion mechanism and that requires some energized photons. In order to get energized photons, we need ray receivers. And in order to do for ray receivers to work, they need to have a Dyson Swarm or Dyson Sphere to work on. I can't build a Dyson Swarm because I have the I have the challenge of um, uh, of not uh, launching any sales, so that's not an option. Well, then I need to make a Dyson Sphere, and in order to make a Dyson Sphere, I need to launch some small carrier rockets. Small carrier rockets require three things, quantum chips, hence why I expanded that, deuterium fuel, hence why I expanded it, and the ninja stars, I mean uh, Dyson frame component, yeah, Dyson Sphere component. That's the one we're gonna be working on. However, you can see it requires the frame material that we already have, we built that last time, and we have some processors, that's also something we have, not a lot of, but not really. The, and we need some solar sails. We can't launch them, but we can build them. So that's the one, the first thing we need to do. But we don't really have a good supply of graphene. So I'm actually going to start by making graphene. So the, the sequence of events is graphene into solar sails, into Dyson Sphere components, into small carry rockets, into a Dyson Sphere. That's the objective. So whew, I got to work fast. But let's see what we can do. And uh, I'm going to start by doing a design here. I have reserved this slot here on the south uh, southern hemisphere and that's why it's sort of rotating the wrong way and it is below the frame material frame material should be good yep it's very good the graphene i'll be using the recipe the fire ice recipe because we do have a lot of fire ice and that doesn't prevent us from actually doing anything so i'm going to take a uh, fire ice and that will be fire uh, hydrogen outbound and fire inbound i am not going to proliferate it because i just feel it's completely useless to proliferate if uh, if i need this i just don't see a point to proliferating it because this is literally a free material and i don't need to exhaust my power supply so what we need to do is or what we want to do is we want to find some kind of design that makes sense here i'm kind of leaning towards having a, a centralized design like something like this and then see how many we can build. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Not even five. And here it's important to build it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. Maybe I should just build it from up here. Five, yes. And I'm going to build that one as well. And I'm going to build... Basically, I am going to do an output here of... Fire ice going down the side here and then coming back with hydrogen and coming back with 
Mm, what was the other thing we're coming back with? Something. Uh, the graphene, yes. These are not even set to graphene yet. So let's do that. That's the fence graphene. And there, five. Now, when you build multiple of these and you want to make sure that they, they build here, always start with the one that's closest to the poles because uh, if you can build it here, you can also absolutely build it anywhere else. And let's build. This one, at this point, building a... Uh, making... Oops. Uh, making... What are they called? Time lapse of this doesn't really make sense because the drones are working so fast that it's just going to be fine. All right, so this is, uh, in this case, I have the input on the first one, and then I will get, well, graphene and then hydrogen. Yeah. On this side, I will get inbound and then hydrogen and then graphene in the middle. I think that's good. Let's uh, get this further down here. And I won't be able to copy it to this location because this will be mirrored, so we can't do that yet. And that's going to be input and output graphene and output hydrogen. On this side, it's going to be input and output hydrogen and output graphene. Yep. So let's get this done here. And there. Now we just need some power on this uh, on this little build. And then we are good to go. Let's build it here and here. Seems like good locations. Uh, I'm going to be a bit excessive with the power. Because once we get closer to the equator, then I might need that. And we're just going to slam it in the middle. And what I need to do is here. Ah, this always the problem with doing that. And I will just simply do that one. All right. That was easy. Oh, it's not. At, is it easy? No, it's not. Uh, copy, paste. There. All right. That is done. Then I can take this blueprint. While it's coming in, I just hope it works. Do how much do we want to gamble that it just works and just stamp it down, creating this? Oh yeah, I just stamp it down. There we go. That's as much space as we can do. Let's see if it actually works here. Looks like it's working, right? Um, if we look for the little yellow indicator. I do have those indicators. So the little yellow indicator. I don't see that, so that means everything is working, and it's coming in here. And of course, all of the hydrogen will be put into our. Uh, what is it? What's it called? Our fractionator build that we built a couple of episodes ago. How much will this actually get us? Uh, this is like incredibly fast, isn't it? It is going to make one per second. So we, what we just built is 24 plus 24 plus 24. Who the hell knows that? 72 graphene per second. All right, I think we got ourselves covered when it comes to graphene. Yep. Well, that was it. Well, kind of. So that's uh, the first step of the process. There are four builds we need to do. And uh, hey, this is a nice little crisp design. I don't think I want to put these kind of designs on my website because, I mean, you can see it. It's just in, out, and uh, moving on. Not even any fancy proliferation to be done on that one. Uh, let's figure out what the next build will be. The next build will be the solar sails. And I am going to build that. I have uh, noted on my comments for myself that I should find the steel location because below steel is a good place to build it. It should also be next to some of the other things. I think it's next to our, uh, our fractionator build. So let's move on over here and hopefully we can get back into the sun. Yeah, we got a bit of a sunlight to build in. That is perfect. Look at how well this is progressing at this point. Oh, I do enjoy it. And this will be, since it's going to be solar sails, then I do have an expectation that it will be need to be available somewhere else. Plus, we are going to have several items coming in. So I'm going to be working solar sails. It's two items in. It needs our new found and new made need graphene. Then it needs some photon combiner. Well, the photon combiner, I have it, but I don't have a lot of it. But I'm just going to burn through the stockpile because I don't actually need a lot of it. So I'm, I'm just going to build that and then we'll build something better later on. I'm only going to use this because I don't feel I need more of that. And... Um, yeah, so that will be our inputs and outputs. Let's try to figure out how we want to do this. Um, I need two inputs. Let's try to do it the same way as the previous one, where we built like... In the middle here, we're going to leave one empty. And then I will have one, two spaces here in between. Is that two spaces? Yeah. That one. And this will be solar sails. 
copy paste to the other ones. Good. Then I will see if that how that fits with inputs and outputs from our location. You are going to come out as there. And that goes as far down as we can. And you will be the other one. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Actually, I need to figure out how big I can then make it. Oops. There. Check this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Screw it. We, that's, oh, that's not it, what I wanted. I want to make 10. I want to make 10. 10 is good because then I can make 40 per second. Yeah, 40 per second. Even that means when we need to start working on the next part, we can also do it because I can actually build it like this, I think. And then I can build out here. The proliferation coming in and going up. So that means I can build it way closer. Uh, maybe not that much closer, but I'd say this close. Can I build 10 then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, yeah, kind of. Well, you know what? I'm going to be pushing it even harder. There. Is that... That's not feasible, right? Because I need to go two inputs. Yeah, that's not feasible. So, it does have to be like this. This is the best we can do. Oh, range utilization. Getting a few things inbound. Uh, let's give this a shot. And I will be... Let's get the inputs and outputs here. Is it just in, 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 and in. And that means I can also just copy them to the other location. And I don't. Ha I forgot the output. <laughs> I forgot the output. Well, I didn't I? F I didn't quite forget the output, but I think I'm gonna do it like this. There you go. That's not making any sense at all because I'm making forty per second. Forty per second is not gonna fit on that belt. I gotta have to do this here, and then that side. Will then need to go to the back, which I never really like, but well, yep. And I can then do output here. Well, excuse me. You are going to also get that returned. Oh, it actually is working. Because this one outputs on the middle, and that will be 10, that's 20. This is going to make one every two seconds. What? Two every two seconds. Two every two seconds. One every two seconds. Okay, so if I have 10 here plus 10 there, that's 20. That's going to make 10 per second. It's 20 per second. Okay, so there's only going to be one output. Uh, that, one, that means I can actually do it. It's only 20 in total for all of it. So that means I can't do this funky thing. And then I'm, I will actually do this for absolutely no reason. Well, let's just get it. Smash it in here. And you are going to go there. You are going to go there. Great. And let's get this split down here. I have no idea if this works. I've been messing around with it so many times now that I think think I might have messed it up. And uh, let's build them on the inside. There and there. Oh wow, the music stopped as well. There we go. And you'll go on the back. Alright. I guess we'll just fire it up. We start with firing up this one. Demand. Uh get this. Uh yeah, kinda do we want it? Because I might be able to be need to provide this remotely as well. Yes, let's do it. I am going to request 2,000 in here and 2,000 in here. Go and go. Let's see. And we got the greens. The proliferation is coming in. Luckily, that came in first. 
Well, I did spend a lot of time on doing that. Okay, and we're getting the first photon combiner. And then we should get the newly minted graphene coming in. Here's the newly minted graphene. This will output and go straight in. All good. And the other ones will output and go all the way around. And it looks like it's working. Every single one is huffing and puffing. Yes, it is. And they're all able to get outbound. Cool. So that's the second little build done. All right. Now we can get started on some of the higher tech stuff like the ninja stars. Let's find a location to build the ninja stars and um, then also wait for dawn to break so we can continue the design there. All right. I found a good spot and dawn is coming here. So that should be good. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to build uh, let's see, I'm going to build it here, sort of in the middle. And this will be making our ninja stars. That's seriously called the dearest Dyson Sphere component. There we go. That will require the frame material that we built earlier. It'll require the solar cells we just built, and it'll require some processors coming in. Now, these are really expensive materials to use. So what I'll do is I will be using the blue proliferator. I think it's worth it to get all of that in here. So that's what we're going to do. Now, we need to make a design and I kind of lean towards a design that looks kind of similar to what we did before. And I'm going to be, let's see, this uh, will be here. One, two, three, four, uh, no, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Eight, it's on an eight second cycle, so I want to go here. There, that's eight. I want to make sure that there's enough space on the side. Now, what if I do... This one is the return. And then I do... Uh, oh, it's three inbounds. Yeah, so that's not actually working. Ah, okay. More solar cells. Okay, so let's get some output here. That will be... Frames. We're going to get frames here. And let's see, I needed to get it to that one. And what could be something else? That one. Good stuff. And then I need, on the next one, I need to get return. And then I also need the solar sails. Like that. And then I replicate the whole thing on the outside here. And then hopefully there's enough room for me to get the frame materials. Now, there we go. And, oh, I have to use the back row, but that's okay. Sometimes you do. Hopefully there's enough room on this side as well. I will do the same thing on that side. One, two, three. Yep. That's why it's important to build it out there. And now I need to make absolutely sure that the first one is going to be solar sails. And then the second one is the return. Wow, I might be a bit squeezed Hopefully it's going to work and I will be building processors. And from the back row again, I am going to get uh, the frame there. Well, there's room for it. Now, the only thing we don't have room for is the proliferation. But I don't think that's a big issue because I actually have one more spot out here. And if I am a bit uh, agile, then maybe I can build... That one here. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, which one's the outbound? That's the outbound. So that doesn't get proliferated. We don't proliferate outbounds. We've decided on that. This is okay. No, that's exactly not okay. There. And then I just need to sneak this in here. And then from... That, that's so weird. So weird. Why? What? What the hell? Why is there a little kink? I don't know. There's, a, there's just a kink. And as someone mentioned earlier, no kink shaming. Even when it's belt kinks. Uh, I, 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 why? Ah, okay, don't look at it. If you just if you zoom out enough, you can't see it. All right, uh, let's see if I can build some inputs and outputs. And that will be this part is from here. In, 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 in. 
And then what we also have to remember is that they also go that way. So when I do the other parts, they also have to match. This on that side will be output, input, output, input. There. There, and one, two, three. Very good. Power holes. Uh, if we build on the inside, it might be just a bit dodgy. Let's build them on the outside then. Two, three, and four. That's good. And then maybe just follow along and build it outside here and outside there. Is this powered? Yes, it is. All right. Now what we need to do is power this. Get two. Get that in. And get... Let's do 1,000 of each. There. None of this, but that one. None of this, but that one. None of this, but that one. And this one is output. Let's make you with 5,000. All right. I'm just holding my breath that it works. Ah, it would have been really nice if I could have gotten the proliferation out first. But alas, that is not a thing. Ah, okay. Well, it is coming in. There you go. What about you? Are you also... No, you're fine. This is also fine. This was fine. There you go. There might have been some issues inside these that didn't really work. Uh, but everything is coming in. Ooh, that is not coming in as fast as I'd like. But hey, it's working. It's working. Yes. And it's being consumed. So this will make one, two, three, four per second. And then plus 25, that is five per second. So I am getting five of these per second. And if I want to look at how many I then can make, it goes into here. I'm gonna make two small carry rockets per second. So I'm actually not using all of this. I like to be able to stockpile it. That seems like a, a, a reasonable thing to do. So I'm gonna go over here. And build another one. I'm going to build exactly the same place. And this one's going to be even simpler, but even more expensive. It's going to be that. And then let's see if I can remember all the things that are inbound for this. There's the deuterium fuel. There is the quantum chips. And I will have the Dyson share components. And then, of course, I'm also going to have the blue stuff. Right. So this one should be... I don't need, I only need, this is on a, what is it, on a six second cycle? Yeah, and I only want to make two per second. So that's not a lot. So let's build, oops, I didn't have that, that one. And let's build it here. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Yeah, not a lot. And small carry rockets. And I'm gonna build it on the other side. And hold on, it's probably easier to so there's three inputs inbound. Why did I put that? Oh, right, that's not it. It's that one. <laughs> okay, deuterium fuel is the cheapest of these products, so I want that to be on the double storage. Do you go in here? And what the hell did I mean by that? Because um, on the outside, I'll have one, st one... I don't know if I even should call it inbound or outbound. But anyway, look at this. There, deuterium goes here and I don't really care too much about that and this will be deuterium and then I am going to yeah let's say uh, I'm kind of liking this sty the style this is kind of a new thing for me like going around and going back in the great thing about it is that it then becomes really symmetrical once I built the proliferation one two three and four then there's one output here and then I'll have this as my proliferation I think that's a neat little variation of the same same old theme I like that that was extremely simple and I think I'm actually confident enough that I can just get this in 
There, we'll at least get that one in. And all I need now is inputs and outputs. All right, let's see. In, 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 in. In, out, in, out. And then copy paste it down. And a few power poles here and there. One there, one there, one there, and probably one over at this location. It's all good. That's blue here. I want 10,000. 1,000 here, 1,000 there, 1,000 there. Go, go, go. Everything coming in beautifully. That is so lovely. So damn lovely. Let's see if that works. I like it. Oh, Rave Transformer. Yep, that's actually all of our science we can do at this point. And uh, there's nothing more we can do science-wise. So at this point, all we can do is focus on... Well, it's actually really nice. And we can build up a stockpile, but we can then just wait until we get the next... Uh, the, get all the ingredients for the yellow science. Uh, for the white science, which is what we're basically working on. And we got all of these inbound. Look at that. We got some small carry rockets. That is amazing and excellent. Cool. All right. Let's build one more thing. Whew. One more thing. And that will be, in this case, it uh, will be the green lenses. Because we do have green lenses down here as part of the design. And we're technically making a tiny bit more than we need because we proliferate the inbound. But I don't think it's worth it for us to try to leech some of this out because it eventually gets to starve starve out this part so we're going to be making a separate green lens build because i'm going to need it for a lot of other things that should be like a clean little build here as well it's going to be very much the same as the other ones just two in two out uh, two in what is it i don't even know and that will be diamonds are easy that's not diamonds that's strange matter diamonds and this is a super expensive one so again we're going to use this i will in this case do Here, one, two, three, four. This is on a six second cycle, so let's do nine. Like that. And then we do the two outbounds. That would be this strange matter. Anything that uses strange matter should really be proliferated because strange matter is so expensive, mainly uh, power wise, but it's, it, it's difficult to make. So try to use as little as possible. That. Go up here and in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go down again. And on a return. Here. And also return on that side. Again, this is incredibly simple to make. So this is why I'm, I'm focusing on building a lot of these very simple builds. They're very, very straightforward. So we can build all of these in in uh, one episode, even though... Oops, that's definitely not a thing I want. So actually, this is five... <clears throat> what the hell did you do? Uh, five new builds in one episode. That's pretty cool, right? And we didn't even do any time lapses. And all we need to do after this is... We should actually have everything we'd want to have. So, there. There, that's good. Then what we can do after this, uh, am I going to put it here? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, we actually just need to start launching it and then be happy. There. That's not enough. Yeah, it's, why is it always that's, that's the last one I I hook up? That's such a mistake. Here. That's done. And I'm going to take 1,000 here. And oof, I'll do 500. They're so expensive. And how many do I need? I just need 2,000. It's not going to be overwhelming or anything. So, this. And we're getting it. Perfect. And these will be provided inbound, outbound, there, and there. So, we need to get these provided to the other planet because we'll be launching from Everlist. Let's see that this is working and that has actually used all of our daytime daylight. So, that should be... There we go. Those are the two inputs in. They are working. Oh, the first one didn't get fully proliferated. I don't know why. Is it power? Oh, don't, don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. Yeah, we've been uh, throwing a lot of, of stuff at it. And I think the problem is actually this one. It is not.
Is it this one? What am I? Why am I being confused here? I'm generating 900. Accumulated discharge. Oh, it's because I'm consuming 1.6. I thought like, well, 900 plus 540, that should be enough. But it isn't. Something is um, is using a bit more power than I had anticipated. Well, um, unfortunately, that affects our proliferators quite heavily, which is really annoying. Um, I think that there's only one thing we could do about this. And that is hurry up and leave the planet and ignore the problem and then just hope it goes away by itself. That is the professional advice for me. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this for a second planet and then have it actually stockpiled. By the time it completes the science, then it'll uh, fall down to more reasonable levels there. I'm going to go to Everlist. And as I warp there, thank you very much, patrons, for supporting the channel. It is super amazing. Let's set up a shop on Everlist. Oops, or I, I could also just miss the planet. There we go. So we are now here on Everlist, and uh, I've uh, found a good spot that I want to build at, and that's uh, that's going to be what, we, uh, what we're working on here. Uh, this is about as the biggest space I can find on this planet. You can see I have patches of solar panels just to keep uh, my... What is it called? What's it called? That one. Keep this fueling as much as possible. We just patched uh, some solar panels here and there just to get the, get the whole thing going. So uh, at this point, we are going to build our launch facility and I am going to build it right in the middle. That should be there. Let's this time make sure that we actually power this first. So what are we gonna do here? We are going to request exclusively small carrier rockets. Now, if I proliferate the small carrier rockets, then they will be launching twice as fast if they're proliferated, but I don't really care care about that to be perfectly honest it doesn't seem like the most valuable thing for me to get that uh, what i do want to get is actually i want to get some launchers here now we can build like a lot of different launch setups and like hmm let me think let's see the best one is doing like this because that means i can lead it in like this and then i can get it with an inserter going into there and then i can insert directly and then just basically daisy chain them that is the best one there and i think they connect they did not connect but the next one connects when i drag it in here right yes and then i can Perhaps maybe do it again on uh, this side here. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. That's not it. I want to see if I can build it with this one in the middle. Like that. That looks good, right? And then see if we can build... Is this too close? It probably is too close. It is not at all too close. Oh, that is too close though. But that's because it's the same as... Here. Yeah, this should be aligned. Good. And you are going to go over on... And you're going to go here. And now I should have the template to continue there. This one here. So each of these will launch at a rate of 5 per minute. So one every 12 seconds. So if I have 12 of these, then I launch one per second. And then if I have 2 times 12, you guessed it, that's 2 per second. And that's kind of where I want to aim for. Oops, that's not it. If I can get this to 12 or a bit above 12 because we are actually producing slightly more. I know that I won't be able to continue up on the build here, but we can at least get all of this done here. Let's do that. What is that now? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
11, and that's it. Question if I could squeeze the whole... I will do this. It's it's going to be fine. It's unlikely that it'll be... It's going to be able to launch anyway at the correct speed. It'll be launching this weed for a while, and then I'll run out of something, and then it won't be able to launch, or I'll just throw down a few more of these. Oops. There we go. That's good. And, oh, right, they need power. And there's a thing here that you can actually just squeeze in the power in between here, which is really weird, but it is possible. These these are so weird, these entities. There. And that one. And we go back on the other side and just do the same thing again. I uh, that doesn't work. You can't drag these. Doesn't matter. It's easily done. There. All right. And then I will be building. Actually, I will be. Let's request it first. That one. And I actually don't need any of these. I'll be requesting there. Then I'll be bringing it out, but I'm not going to bring it out though. There, I'm going to go to none because I want to make sure that we design our build first. That one. And I will hook it up. What? Funny how that just didn't work so close. And obviously we ran out of power poles coverage here. That one. And that one. All right. So that's done. You are coming in. That is going to be glorious. And it was not going to fly out. So what's the other thing I want to do? The other thing I want to do is actually the ray receiving. I am also going to do that. And I'm going to just set it up here because I think there's a bit of space up here as well. I know that a lot of these builds are really haphazard. And you will only be requesting green lenses. But you will also be getting the critical photons back again. So what I need to do is over on this side. I want the ray receiver. This is going to be super small. Can I do this? I can't do that. Then I really should be making this somewhere else. There. I, that copy paste was just so I retained all of these. That one. And I think I also want to request this inbound now. And I get the power attached here. And I will get. I don't mind actually using this, even though it's going to be a bit wasteful. And then you will go out and return. That's going to be where the critical photons are coming out, and they will then go... Oops. There. Now, I can of, of course big, make it bigger, but this one will already receive so much additional. The reason why I'm doing this is because then it can start going doing the continuous receiving. Did we get all of this? Oh, we did. Great, so now we're ready to make the Dyson Sphere. And then you're looking at, oh, the timer. How is he gonna do that? Here's the trick. Are you ready? There we go. How about that? This one is made by Tegevaro. The, uh, the guy who's sponsoring this planet or this uh, star system has also made this really cool basket weaving design that uh, we are going to use. I am not going to make a guide on how all of this crap works, but what I am going to do is I'm going to provide you with the blueprint. So if you want it, you can put it in here. Uh, the blueprint in and of itself, uh, I think I actually don't need level two, but I need level three here. It is radius is 20,000. And the planned structure points is 165,600 structure points and one point, let's call it uh, 1.47 cell points. That's a lot. <clears throat> and basically, as this one's done, that's it. I, it is 
so nice that we don't have to do all of this. So what I'm going to do is start launching. And then everything will be better. Here we go. We are now launching. The very first rockets are being launched right now. How about that? That was like an immense blitz of speed we did here today. Rocket launch. Absolutely. Freaking lootly. We got it. And launch your first rocket on Everlist. And we are going to follow these out here into the beauty that is... Uh, uh, oops. Let's see. I need to... Oh, there we go. And the Ray receiver is now working. Also. Um, there he is. Oh, wow. I'm fast. I'm too fast. Yeah. Okay. I am just out of control. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Look at how quickly it gets in here. Just a nice stream coming in. And I'll take these out. Look at that. That is beautiful. And that's now the, our Dyson frame, Dyson sphere, has started to work. And we are going to be pretty happy about this. I am, at least. So, that's uh, that's the massive achievement we did today. Yeah, okay. I know that. The, thank you for that. In, it cost money to speed up. What cost energy to speed up. And they just keep coming into this location. That is so amazing. And look at this. It's just a nice little stream of, of rockets coming in. That looks so good. Anyway, I love this part. This is the best part of the game. By far, the absolute best part of the game is just launching rockets in and just floating around the Dyson sphere. And if you want to see more of this kind of thing, well, of course you can follow this uh, this series, but I actually have a time lapse of me building a gigantic sphere around a black hole. And it's basically a time lapse of its 10 hours that I cut into sort of nice cinematic views. It's pretty nice. I like it. And uh, it's a nice little, uh, if, if you enjoy this part, my closest thing to art I've made in a, in a game, I guess. So we're going to be leaving it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this uh, Let's Play and guide as we move along. Uh, I, if you are, then, you know, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. Want to come over and be part of the design process, then come on over to Twitch. And uh, I'm streaming it Monday, Wednesday and Friday at Twitch TV slash Needhouse at 8 p.m. Central European time. So do come on over. What we're going to do from here is work on the white science, and then when we get that, we will unlock a lot of the difficult achievements. And once that's unleashed, we can start mining rare resources, we can pave the world, we can do a lot of cool things, then transition into a mega base and really colonize the rest of this star cluster. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and as always, stay effective.